Hello, this is Farm Pizza Twix. Uh, today we're gonna be doing something a little different. Um, since I haven't done that much, I'm gonna just do a tutorial video on how to do Five Nights at Freddy's fan game and stuff. So, you know, start new application. Um, let's call this FNAF. And I don't know if I spelled it wrong, but I don't care. So now that we're done with that, we're gonna go here. I'm gonna change the window size to 100, 1280 by 700, 720. Um, we don't want the well hit yes for that and just uncheck these and make the border color black and that's all all right for frame one we're gonna put down 1600 all right let's open up frame one Alright, there's the stuff right there. Alright, um, this is just the uh, FNAF textures and stuff. Um, you can go online and find those anywhere. If it says if you want to import something, just hit no. Uh, so now we want to have this lined up perfectly. Make sure the X and Y positions are at zero. Okay. Now, now that's done. There's our background, and make sure it's an active object. It does not have to be a fun with Freddy's background. It can be anything. I'm just doing this. All right. We're gonna place in two active objects and each one of them is going to be different so right click it and hit edit sorry if I'm going a bit fast free, free f be free to pause the video if you need to and watch uh, so we're going to make these different um, so there's that and make one of them a bouncing ball object we're gonna set the speed to I don't know 80 it it doesn't really matter um, I'm gonna keep these visible for now so go to event editor just go start a frame Go here and do always. Have position x coordinate. Have current, or you can type in x mouse, but or you can go here and press current x position of mouse. Then we're gonna do it again, but set y coordinate. Set current y position of mouse, or you can type in y mouse. And for a direction, look of direction of this object. That's your static object. And now we're gonna have if this overlaps your bouncing ball object, copy this, make it negative. We're gonna have the movement for your bouncing ball stop. We're gonna have it start. Then we're in a center position or frame on the bouncing ball. All right, let's test that out. All right, there's your scrolling. And to make them on scene, just go here and hit uncheck visible at start. 
Alright, now we're gonna move these here. You can put about, or you can put as many layers, as many layers as you want. Um, you don't have to, if you're using free edition or something, you don't need to do this because this is only in the full version of Cocaine Fusion. Put in a perspective object and put it in your window size. We're going to have the zoom value to 100. And we're going to have it to 180 to 720. Test that out. See how it isn't flat? That's what you need, and the objects are invisible. Alright, now I'm gonna do another thing. We're gonna import, we're gonna place in several objects. We're gonna make this make it dark purple. You don't need to make it like this. You can have any color you want. But make these invisible. We're going to place in another one. Um, we're going to have this lighter. I'm just extending them a bit longer. Just keep them invisible. All right. You'll see in a second why I'm doing this. Um, again, I forget. Just keep them invisible. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. Um, so now we're gonna have if. The mouse pointer is over this. We're gonna set speed to the bouncing ball. I'm gonna set it to 30. And if it's over the one near the middle, we're going to have the speed to 60. And if it's at the very far edge, then we're going to have the speed to 90.
you can sort of see how it is. Um, I'm gonna see if I what happens if I set the speed to zero. I'm gonna change the value of the speed. Like, no, not zero. So there you can have a amount of speed as you want. Alright, that's it for our first episode. Um next we'll do the lights. Alright. See you next time. Bye.